Hello and welcome to the Subtracting Integers podcast. I'd like to begin with some basic rules here, and that's that a negative minus a negative is the same thing as a negative plus a positive. A positive minus a negative is the same thing as a positive plus a positive. Now, if you look at both the same places right here, look, in both cases we're subtracting a negative. In one case, we're subtracting it from a, a negative. In the other case, we're subtracting it from a positive. But both times, that turns into addition. That's kind of like a really important thing to know. In fact, it's so important that, in other words, subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. That will always be true. So subtraction, when we subtract a positive, we move to the left. Subtract a negative, move to the right. Why? Because subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. We'll see some examples of that here in a minute. Another thing that is a rule really to think about is that a negative minus a positive is always going to produce a negative result. If you start out at some negative value and you subtract something from it, it just gets more and more negative makes kind of sense, and we'll see some examples of that in a minute as well. Looking at some number line examples, here's a case of negative 3 minus 2. This is a negative minus positive. I begin at a negative value. I subtract something. It gets more negative. I begin at negative 1, 2, negative 3. I subtract 2. What did the previous screen say? Subtracting a positive move left, move left. So I move left 2, the result is negative 5. Here I begin at negative 5, right there, subtracting a negative. That's the same thing as what? Adding a positive. So I add 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I end up at 2. Now, this example of negative minus a positive deserves some further look here. I'm beginning a little bit of a harder problem. Negative 52 minus 64. This is a case of a negative minus a positive, and we know that it's going to equal a negative because that's just one of our basic rules. If we look at this number line, which I've drawn here, it only goes in the negative direction because um, I begin at a negative number and I'm subtracting a positive. It's only going to go negative. If I find negative 52, it's, oh, it's right about there somewhere. Okay? And I subtract 64. That goes about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, or somewhere right around in there. So that looks like about somewhere between 100 and negative 110 and negative 120 will be our answer. So how do we get the exact answer? Well, I'm going to use some symbols here because I think it's really uh, helpful to get used to looking at symbols when we're describing mathematical concepts and problems. And so this is a case I'm going to call negative 52, or I'm going to call 52A, and I'm going to call 64B. Okay, so in other words, I'm going to let 52 equal A, just 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 a letter that represents this number could represent any number really. And I'm going to let 64 equal b. So what I have here is a case of negative a, negative 54, minus b. And what this turns out to equal is the negative of the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b. Okay. So now actually plugging and chugging my numbers in here right now, I have the negative of absolute value of uh, negative 52 is A there. Negative 52 plus absolute value of 64 is equal to the negative of 52 plus 64. So all I got to do is find out what 52 and 64 are, and hey, put a negative sign in front of it, right? 64 
64, 52. That's a 6, that's 126. Is that right? Nope, 116. <laughs> okay, 62 plus 54 is 116. Now, let's look at uh, some more examples right here. Start uh, with one very similar to what we just did. Negative 81 minus 14. This is a case of the negative minus a positive. It's going to be a negative. I take the negative of the absolute values of those two numbers. Absolute value of negative 81 plus absolute value of 14. It's the negative of 81 plus 14. 81 plus 14 is 95. The answer is negative 95. Here's an example of a positive minus positive. But one number is, the one that I'm subtracting is actually larger than the other one. So if I'm starting out at a positive 22, I'm subtracting even more than 22 from it. If I subtract 22, it gets me to 0. But I haven't gotten all the way to subtracting 46 yet. Okay, So one way to think about these that kind of keeps you from having to remember too many different rules is to rewrite it as negative 46 plus 22. Now we use that absolute value rule that we used for adding integers. The absolute value of negative 46 is 46. Absolute value of 22 is 22. I subtract their absolute values, just like we did in the previous podcast. 24. Which one do we choose, negative or positive? Well, the one with the largest absolute value was negative, so the answer is negative 24. One more example. Well, here I have a case of a positive minus a negative. And boy, what rule is that? That's the old subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. It's the same thing as a positive plus a positive. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. Okay, so that's just 51 plus 13. Answer 64. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done.